diagnosing a water damage device beyond repair. Hi everyone, I'm Adriana and in today's video, with the help of Leonardo, we'll talk about water damage devices and we go through the steps we follow. Here we have a Xiaomi Redmi device that has suffered water damage. To get to the motherboard, we hit the back cover with the hot air gun at 90 Celsius degrees. We use an ultra thin pick to open a gap and then, with the help of the plastic card, we cut the adhesive that joins the back cover. Now we proceed to remove all the screws from the middle casing. From this point on we start to take mental notes to perform a quality diagnosis. This Xiaomi sticker is intact indicating that the device has not been opened by another technician so far. We remove the metal sheet and we disconnect the battery connector. At this point we can see that the battery connector has sulfate which indicates that the device has taken in a lot of water and the battery has some charge at the moment. We continue removing the connectors and the coaxial cable. This is the device top antenna. The humidity sticker is popped and has pink spots, indicates that the device has been in contact with liquids. If you like this type of content, don't forget to give it a strong like and I promise you to keep uploading more quality content. Stay close for more informative and useful videos in the future. We proceed to remove the motherboard for better analysis. Here we can see another signs of humidity. We set the motherboard aside and we focus on the charging module. We remove the screws and we remove the audio module. Here we can observe how the humidity indicator has also changed color. Therefore, the device has taken in quite a bit of water. Don't forget to have a look to the description of this video because I'm gonna leave you all the links from the tools that we are using in our workshop. The charging connector has sulfate right between the pads. If it can't be recovered, it can be changed for a new one. No problems here. For a proper inspection, we remove the metal sheets. As you can see, at this point, part of the motherboard is burned, so we'll need to go to the microscope.
the battery connector is sulfate, but I'm not worried about because it can be easily cleaned. This integrate circuit might be damaged, it needs to be removed. We continue inspecting the motherboard and as you can see we have sulfate marks all over. This connector is also burned. This area is indeed concerning as several components need to be replaced. Additionally, we test the screen on one of our devices and it turns out it's burned internally. Therefore, this low mid-range device is not worth repairing. All through it's possible to recover the motherboard, it would require investing time in it. And considering the screen is also broken, it really isn't worth it. In our workshop, we encounter similar cases and sometimes we need to evaluate whether the work is worth it. Over the years we have recovered motherboards in worse conditions but in those cases the screens were working so the cost of the customer was not excessive. This is how we diagnose a water damage device in our workshop. It's always essential to pay attention to the details as they can make a significant difference in a repair. Guys, this was today's video. He is Leonardo. Thanks for watching and we are waiting for you in the next one. Bye bye.